it's difficult to to say that I was a slave. <laughs> that sounds terrible. To feels terrible. Dan was threatened, beaten, and forced to sell drugs for a man who turned him into a modern day slave. The ordeal only ended when Dan got arrested and police figured out what had been going on. In this interview filmed by the Salvation Army, he describes the abuse meted out by the man who had initially befriended him. It was the threats of violence towards my loved ones that really was the hardest. Like when someone tells you that they're going to beat your mother up, that is no man, no woman ever wants to hear that. It just made me feel terrified. Shocking as it is, Dan's case is all too common a tale. 2,662 survivors of modern slavery in England and Wales were referred to the Salvation Army for help from July 2020 to June 2021. 470 had been forced to commit crimes such as growing or dealing drugs, begging and shoplifting. That's up 62%. As a result of the pandemic, we have seen quite a significant increase in the number of individuals being referred into the national referral mechanism, which can be seen through either manners of um, county lines, forcing uh, people or cuckooing apartments in order to um, continue with cannabis growth. John Renuff is one of hundreds of Salvation Army volunteers who pick up victims of modern slavery and drive them to a safe house where they can get the help they need. Uh, there are no stereotypes. The, you can't say it's limited to one particular nationality or one particular age group. Uh, we've moved people of wide age ranges from 18 through to their early 70s. Uh, the, I think the number of nationalities that uh, have been helped is, I think, 70 or 80. The economic and mental health impact of the pandemic may have made more people vulnerable to the kind of exploitation Dan suffered. As circumstances change, criminals adapt their methods to keep making money, no matter how much misery they cause. Enda Brady, Sky News.